dumb vibes is here to entertain you. Hey, Mzansi. The internet of recent has been fuming so badly given to the fact that AKA departed from this world in a very, very saddened manner. What actually breaks the hearts of so many people is how he actually left this world. So, the Megacy and all those who actually want justice to be served are doing the very most in order to assist the authority to have the culprit behind bars and justice be served. Make sure you watch this video right up to the end because today it seems like we are one step close to the target as there is good news regarding the men who claim the life of AKA. Before I give you all the entire information proper, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Many assumptions are already being made on social media as to whom ordered the hit on the lemon and lemonade hit maker who was just about releasing his new album before his untimely passing from this world. While footages from a camera captured the whole thing happening, calls for the men in the camera to be identified and arrested are on the rise and the South African Police Service, through the Lieutenant General Kwanazi, has given an update on how far they are with the case and identifying the men who committed this very, very bad act of a high-profile celebrity as AKA. Remember, he was one of the biggest in the hip-hop game. Kwanazi said, and I quote, Unfortunately, we cannot come forward and reveal the identification of the people you have seen in the videos on social media. We can't disclose that noun, but we have an idea of whom these people may be. We are doing our best to make sure that we avoid sharing information with the media before we share it with the family, explained Konazi. This is actually a very, very vital and important message that Konazi has passed. He has made it clean and clear that they already have the picture, like a picture of who is definitely responsible. They have the people, the people at hand. They actually know. He couldn't just go straight. They know. But now, they need to do more investigations to actually come up with rightful reasons why they need to arrest these people. Because, you know, you don't just walk in somebody's house and carry the person along. They need evidence. And the CCTV footages don't show their faces so clearly, so that is clearly understood. Judging by what Kwanazi said as well, there is now some hope that those guys who shot and claimed the life of AKA may end up being found and arrested. A lot of information will, uh, will then have to come to light when those men are questioned as to what their motive of claiming the life of the rapper was and who could have possibly put a bounty on the rapper's life. AKA was laid to rest on Saturday in a private funeral and of course, it was completely out of the eyes of the media. Inasmuch as the media always has their way to penetrate into things because some footages, some images and some very short clips of how the whole thing took place were actually bulged on the internet. And what actually struck people the most was the fact that Dan Design was seen when everyone was pouring soil onto the casket of AKA, Dan Design instead poured NC. And this caused a huge stir. Like everyone started asking themselves questions, but why on earth do you decide to pour NC on AKA's casket when everybody is pouring soil and even his immediate family members are pouring soil? Why do you decide to pour NC? This actually caused a huge stir on the media as people even thought that it was some form of mutiny or some form of ritual stuff like that. So, I mean, guys, I really don't know that much. But when I actually visited the comment sections, I discovered that some people went as far as revealing that it's a very natural norm among youths that when probably the person who has departed from this world was a lover of a particular drink or alcohol or liquor in general, you know, most of the times, their friends always honor him by pouring that thing that the person loved so much and, you know, so the person can go away. I don't know why, probably just a friend, friendly ritual and stuff like that, which is which is highly basic and understandable, but I, I don't know why he had to do that. So, it's really, really breaking seeing that 
everything like this had to happen. But we still thank the heavens that the police are definitely doing their job. Yes, they are really, really doing the job. And uh, I also understand that they want to keep it so low key and make sure AKA's family is first to know any involvement in the case. And that is a great one. AKA's family needs to be respected. They deserve justice. They deserve love because nobody will ever want to lose, be it their brother, their son, or you know, yeah, even their cousins in such a manner, it is really, really unfair. Love you all, Tim. What do you think?